In today's episode of Lloyd and Mandy, I'm checking out one of Bangkok's most famous family-owned restaurants that serves up a beef stew that's been cooking for almost half a century. I also show you around a unique 125-year-old heritage hotel right in the heart of Old Town Bangkok that was formerly used as a gunpowder factory in the early 1900s. Stay tuned and if you're new here, consider liking and subscribing for more content just like this. Good morning guys, I'm coming to you from Bangkok. As you may have seen in the last video, I'm here flying solo for a couple of days. Uh, Mandy's holding down the fort with Bear back home in Hua Hin. And as promised, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the hotel I'm staying at because it's really cool. This is a 125 year old hotel. Well, actually 125 year old building that's now a hotel that used to be a gunpowder factory. So it's called the Barn Tuk Din, which essentially translates to gunpowder house. And this is located in the historical part of Bangkok. So like the old town, um, it's literally like a 10 minute walk to Koh San Road. There's temples and stuff everywhere. So this hotel has about 25 rooms and it has been renovated by a bunch of different artists, uh, architects, designers, and businesses who all sort of chipped in to turn this historical building into the hotel it is today. And honestly, it's amazing. Like it's got a really unique vibe to it. If you have a walk around the hotel, you'll notice like a bunch of old furniture. And the most interesting thing about it is there's a ton of these these old like dinosaur skeleton replica dinosaur skeletons um, like statues which are really cool it's actually attached or semi-attached to a really cool cafe downstairs and then next door to that there's a restaurant and a jazz bar and last night I didn't hear a single thing there was a jazz band playing but I was too tired I didn't go down I'm gonna probably go check it out tonight but because it's not actually attached to the hotel like it was completely quiet here, which I was very, very surprised at. And this hotel is actually reasonably cheap. Uh, it starts at about 2,000 baht per night. And for the quality of hotel that this is, uh, I think that's a really good value, especially in the area that it is. Like you can walk around and there's so much to see and do in this area. So I'd highly recommend checking out this hotel. Barn Tuk Din, uh, it's probably our new favorite hotel. We say that every time we stay somewhere. We're probably gonna have to do like a top 10 Bangkok hotel list soon because um, we stayed at some pretty good ones. So today after I uh, have a bit of coffee and uh, maybe some breakfast and just do a little bit of work on the computer downstairs in the cafe, I'm gonna go and check out this restaurant I've been meaning to go to for a long time, ever since we first came to Bangkok. And we were here in November for like six or seven weeks and we just never got there. There's this restaurant that's been open for like 60 plus years. And the owner learnt how to cook this soup from his father um, like 45 years ago and he's been doing it every day ever since. And the soup has actually been cooking for 45 years. I know that sounds strange, but I'll explain it all later, but basically this is known as like the best beef soup you can possibly get in Bangkok, in probably all of Thailand. It's become a real popular spot for tourists and even locals go there all the time. It's getting a little bit late, so I am gonna probably hit the road pretty soon because otherwise I've heard if you get there too late, you're gonna be lining up for hours and you're gonna miss out. Some people literally line up at this place for like two hours just to get in. So I'll take you guys there with me. We'll see if the soup's all it's cracked up to be or if it's just one of those fads that sometimes gets blown up from social media. Anyway, we'll check it out together. Today's video is sponsored by Super Sparrow. So we've been traveling for just over two years now and one of our pet peeves is just how many plastic bottles we seem to go through while we're on our travels. But from now on, we're gonna be only using our reusable Super Sparrow bottles. Super Sparrow's insulated water bottles are made from medical grade stainless steel material which can withstand impact without breaking. They include a food grade soft silicon straw which is BPA free, non-toxic, tasteless, safe and healthy. It also just makes it a hell of a lot easier to drink out of. 
We are by no means perfect when it comes to single-use plastics, but this is something we really believe needs to be reduced across the board. And that's why from now on, we're going to be taking our Super Sparrow water bottles with us on all of our adventures. And honestly, just gonna be using them at home as well. The insulated design can keep cold drinks cold for up to 12 hours and warm drinks warm for up to six hours, making them the perfect travel accessory for any situation. The top of the water bottle can be unscrewed so you can easily fill it with ice cubes and clean it. Also the water bottle, the lid and the straw are all dishwasher safe, making it super simple to clean. I actually fill up my Super Sparrow bottle with water in the beginning of the day and fill it up with ice cubes and it stays cool all day even in the Thailand heat. And if you click the link down below or use the code LOYDAMANDY at checkout you'll get 15% off your order. Okay back to the video. Scotch coffee is the best coffee I've ever had. I don't even know how they've made it so good. Vanilla, whiskey, milk, chocolate, creamy mouthful. Uh, it's black coffee, but they make it in this really interesting way with like hot sand um, to like boil it and then it drips. Uh, it, I have to show you the video because it's insane and it's the best coffee I've ever had. Okay, so there are a lot of ways to get to this restaurant, uh, which is located around the Thong Law area, but from my experience, the cheapest and fastest, and actually probably the most fun way to get there is by motorbike. That was definitely a smart option getting a bike. As you could see, probably the traffic was just insane. And it's not even like peak hour or anything. It's the middle of the day and the traffic was at a standstill. But luckily my motorbike driver was weaving in and out. He got us here pretty quick. It only took about 20 minutes. I think it would have taken maybe 45 from uh, Bangkok old town to get to Thong Law here and it cost me 130 baht which is very cheap now now I've got to find this restaurant which all I'm really going off is a Google photo that I saw 
I know the name of the restaurant, but everything here, all the signs and everything are written in Thai or Chinese. So I'm hoping I stumble across a restaurant with a big pot of stew boiling. That'll be the obvious thing. Uh, if not, I don't know. We'll just have to keep searching around. I might have to ask around. We'll see how we go. So to be honest, this stew is actually pretty famous. And the reason it's so popular is because the man who's cooking it has been simmering it for 45 years. He grew up studying the different spices and ingredients from his father. Uh, it's actually been around for 60 years and he doesn't actually have a recipe, he just does it all by taste. And what he does is he takes a little bit of the broth every day at the end of the day and then he puts it aside and he adds it to the next day's soup and that's what gives it the rich flavor. So don't get me wrong, it's not the same soup from 45 years ago. That would obviously be disgusting, but the base ingredient of it is the same. And this guy apparently is a wizard and this soup is one of the best in Thailand. He's one of the best in Bangkok. Um, it's got five star reviews. It's become a massive, massive place for tourists to check out. And I've been wanting to go there for a while. So I'm gonna go check it out and uh, see how this soup holds up. Hopefully it's good. All right, I think we might have stumbled across it here. I've seen a few restaurants that look similar, but there's a huge line out the front of this one, uh, which tells me this is probably it. I'm gonna check it out. Well, I've got to say, first of all, that was hectic. So many people there. There was about 20 people lining up. Um, I mean, because I was on my own, I got pretty lucky and I was able to get a spot right away. Although I did have to sit with a group of other people. And it was just mayhem. Just like people yelling and just absolutely insane how busy it is. But I will say this, it definitely lived up to the hype. That was probably one of the best soups I've ever tasted. It was almost like a gravy. You can tell that it's been simmering in so much time and effort and spices and everything has been put into it. It just goes to show really how much of an effect social media can have because a little place like that, which is essentially just a family owned business, is so busy all the time. And it's because everybody goes there and shares it on Instagram or on YouTube like I'm doing. Uh, heaps of people had their phones out videoing it. so. Definitely, if you're in Bangkok, it's worth going to check out. Go and check it out. I'll leave the link for you down below in the description so you can find it. It wasn't too hard to find. And it was also really cheap. I think I paid 120 baht for the soup, which is like a beef noodle soup and a can of Coke, which was basically the only drink option they had. So yeah, go and check it out and uh, I'm going to get out of this heat because it is absolutely disgustingly hot and I'm going to head back to the hotel because apparently they have a jazz bar there that I'm going to check out and maybe have a cocktail or two and just wind down. <laughs> 